Well, once a week, my bosses give me a chance to sound off on something. And tonight, I want to talk about a bill that advanced in the Arizona legislature yesterday. The bill would keep transgender girls from competing in sports in our state. The bill's author, Nancy Bartow, believes that allowing them to compete creates an unfair and uneven playing field for girls who are born girls. But what about girls who aren't, who through no fault or choice of their own, were born male but identify as female, who when they look in the mirror can't accept what they see, who don't feel comfortable in their own skin? And they try many times unsuccessfully to fit in, to assimilate, and of course one way that kids do that is by playing sports, by being part of a team, something bigger than themselves. Now it's important to understand that the AIA, the board that governs scholastic sports in Arizona, has had a law in place for years allowing kids to compete for the team that aligns with the gender that they identify with. Has it hurt any girls in our state? Not one. And yet, that's not good enough for Bartow, who by the way, happens to be running for re-election and now has the backing of the powerful conservative religious group Alliance Defending Freedom which can't be a bad thing if you're worried about being reelected. Representative Bartow also talked about Title IX, which was designed so that girls could have the same opportunities as boys. Shouldn't that apply to all girls? The problem is sports is supposed to be about inclusion, not exclusion. And this bill is exclusionary. It's also dangerous. The fact is, transgender kids commit suicide at twice the rate of other kids. Life is tough enough for a transgender kid looking for acceptance. Why ostracize them from something as simple and meaningful as sports? It doesn't make sense. And at the core of this issue is this. Why would a transgender female want to play high school sports? Representative Bartow would have you believe it's so that they can go out there and dominate and win. That's bull. I would tell you it has nothing to do with winning and everything to do with fitting in, wearing a uniform and being accepted. So, do we really want to be the state that cheers the girl who makes the boys varsity football team, but recoils at the notion of the transgender girl who wants to play basketball or run track? I guess you'll have to ask Nancy Bartow.